In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Gospel of November the 11, 2017. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, make friends for yourselves with this honest wealth, so that when it fails, you will be welcomed into eternal dwellings. The person who is trustworthy in very small matters is also trustworthy in great ones. And the person who is dishonest in very small matters is also dishonest in great ones. If, therefore, you are not trustworthy with dishonest wealth, who will trust you with true wealth? If you are not trustworthy with what belongs to another, who will give you what is yours? No servant can serve two masters. He will either hate one and love the other, or be devoted to one and despise the other. You cannot serve God and mammon. The Pharisees who loved money heard all these things and sneered at him. And he said to them, You justify yourselves in the sight of others, but God knows your hearts. For what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Again, I am compelled to preach for both you, my brothers in the presbytery, and you, my brothers, in Christ. Do we love money? The children of God should learn not to love money, not to give the heart, their heart to money. And how will they learn it if the ministers of God love the money? How sad it is to read and hear about all kinds of people in the, in the presbytery that love money, that love to have these incredible palaces and dwellings and cars with chauffeurs and these beautiful, really beautiful ornaments, $25,000 ornaments for one Mass. It is like the Lord says, what is of human esteem is an abomination in the sight of God. We need to be humble, because we are the face, we are the first reference of God to our brothers, the children of God. And if we are not faithful in the small matters, we will not enter into heaven. If we would rather serve mammon, that is money, then we are doomed. We will not enter into heaven. For all of you, dear brothers, what do we have today? The Lord says, Make friends for yourselves with this honest wealth. Is there any honest wealth? Well, I doubt it. What comes closer to it is the true work of your hands. And I praise all my brothers in the presbytery who work hard, I know, and I know that there are a few of them, work hard and do not depend on the, uh, on the money given to the church, but rather work. And even with that product of the work, just as St. Paul wrote, they can still help others and themselves. What a great example. That is the line of all the saints to share a little bit of what they have with others. That is, to make friends for ourselves with this honest wealth. What could I say of those monies that are earned either by selling drugs or killing babies or robbing others? Certainly it's very dishonest. And we should refrain from doing such businesses. That is a type of money that goes around. And what should we do with that? We should never ever give our heart to them. We should use it as just stewards. And if we are blessed with money, we should make ourselves those friends that will welcome us in heaven. Always have in mind, where is it that you want to end up with? You want to end up in hell? Accumulate money. Is it worth it to leave 20 houses here in the world and then go to hell? I don't know. I don't think so. 
ever. I would rather not have anything but go directly into heaven when I am called. May the Lord be with you, and the blessing of God Almighty, who is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, descend on you and remain on you forever.